looking at the Bunchums Alive Motorized Action Pack. So this set looks really cool. It says that we are going to be able to make them bounce and move. So I am really excited to take a look at this. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box. So it says that we are going to need to attach them, create them, and watch them go. So this set is going to need three AAA batteries. This set is made by Spin Master and is for ages four and up. So right here we have the back of the box. Right here it says they're alive, creatures and accessories, wobble and wiggle. Right here it says that you can create and recreate with endless possibilities. And then right here it just shows us a list of everything that comes in the box. So before we go any further in this video, I do want to let you guys know that you should not ever put bunchums in your hair because they can become tangled. So another thing about the box is right here we have this really nice little handle in case we want to take our bunchums to go. Alright, so the first thing that we have in the box is our Bunchums Motorized Stick'em Ball. And I've already placed in my three AAA batteries. You just need to unscrew this part right here. And then this whole piece pops off and you can put the batteries in. So right here we have this little red switch. And right now it is off. And then we can flick it on. So let's see what happens when we turn it on. So sometimes I flick it on and it doesn't do anything. Let me bop it a little bit. There we go. So that thing is so jiggly. Look at my hands. Wow, that is so crazy. Now let's see what happens when we place it on the ground. So next in the box, we have 200 blue bunchums. We also have 30 green bunchums, 60 purple bunchums, 5 white bunchums, 5 black bunchums. Then we have some accessories. So we have some eyes right here. We also have this pair of eyes. Kind of looks like Cookie Monster's eyes. We also have a beak for a bird. We have a tongue for a dog. We have a fun mustache for any of our characters. We have a tail. We have some bat wings. We have some big ears. And we have some more wings. And of course, the last thing that we have in the box is our instructions. So before we started doing some of the designs in the book, I'm going to kind of show you some of the simple things that you can do with bunchums. So you can take your bunchums apart. Let's just lay a couple out. Okay, so we have some bunchums right here. Now say we want to make just a straight thing of bunchums. What we would do is just take two bunchums and connect them together like that. And just keep connecting to the ends. All right, so there you have it. I have a little line of bunchums right here. So that was super easy. And as you can see, they just have these soft little hooks on them. So the little hooks just get caught on each other. And that is really cool. So now let's say you wanna make, um, I guess maybe like a flower. So let's just take one for the center of the flower. And we're gonna take some little purple ones right here. What we're going to do is we're just going to attach them to the sides. So here's what it looks like. And we can attach that just like this. And look, we made an easy little flower. So that is really cool. All right, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to place on some accessories. So what you would do is just take your little accessory piece. And we have this little part right here sticking out. And what we would do is just place it into the hole. So right here, you can see that's not a hole. It is covered up. But if you flip it to the other side, you can see that that is just an empty hole. Just place that right there. And there you have it. And then you would attach these to something else. So that is really cool. So we can only make 
one design at a time. And the first one that I'm gonna do is going to be the puppy. So what we're gonna need is our ball. We are also going to need 40 of the blue bunchums and 30 of the purple bunchums. And what we're gonna do is we're just going to put the blue on one side and the purple on that side, but not quite like this. So let's go ahead and place them on. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to be making two purple feet. So here are the finished purple feet. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing, but instead of purple, we're gonna do it in blue. Alright, so I just realized I had these two pieces towards the toes and what we're going to do is we're actually going to be placing them back here towards the heel of the foot. That's better. So now we're going to need the ball and what we're going to do is we're going to place on the feet. So the purple feet are going to go on the purple side. We're going to want to make sure that our button is facing down like that. Place on another purple foot. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get the blue ones, place them on the other side. I'm going to straighten everything up a little bit. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take one of these bunchums and right in the center, lower center about right here, we're going to take it and make sure that the hole is sticking out like that. And then we are going to take the tongue and place it in there. Just like that. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to get two of the white ones and place them like this over top of the mouth and then use a black one as the nose right here. So you know what I'm thinking is maybe, see maybe we can turn it like that. Okay, and just squish it on there. That looks good. So now we're gonna do kind of the same thing we did for the tongue, for the eyes. So we're gonna turn our bunch of them around so that the hole is sticking out for this eye. And for this one, same way. Like that, it kind of looks like little eyes already. And then we're gonna put the eyes in the hole. So there's one. And here is the other one. So that looks really cool. So now what we're going to do is we are going to get one blue and place it right here with the hole sticking out like that. And the same with the purple on the other side of the head. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get the ears and place the ears in the holes. So after we've done that, what we're going to do is we are going to turn it around to the back, right there. 
And we are going to need one blue bunch of. Turn it around to the hole. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna place in the little tail like that. And then on the other side, we're gonna put a purple one to make like a little puffy tail tip. So we're gonna stick it right there. See if we can get it a little bit higher so you can see it. <laughs> so there it is. It's got the little tail, it's got the face, and it looks really cool. So now what we need to do is turn on our dog. And there is the little lever over here. Just turn that on. Give him a little shake. There we go. And place him down. So that was really cool. All right, so here is what our puppy looks like, and I think it looks really cool. All right, so we tried the puppy, and I want to do one more character because the puppy was a pretty easy one. Now I'm going to do one that's a little bit harder, and this one is the dragon. I think it's probably the hardest one that you can do. So what we're going to need to start off is 14 purple bunchums and the ball. Now what we're going to need to do is add on 56 blue bunchums. So here is what the ball looks like. So that looks really cool. All right, so now we are going to make four identical legs. So we're gonna start off with four blue bunchums and three green bunchums. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of make like a little flower. So we're gonna take one piece and then just put all these little pieces around it. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to place this one on top. And then what we're going to do is we are going to get three more bunchums that are blue. And we're just going to take them, kind of put them like that. Place them right here. And then we're going to make three more of these. All right, so here are the four legs. Now we're just going to attach them onto the ball. So let's see, let's go ahead and place this one. Hmm, I think we want the stripe to go that way. Place this one here, this one right here, this one over here, and that one right there. So let's see, that looks like a really good dinosaur body. So now we're going to start building the neck. We're going to need four blue bunchums, three purple bunchums, and then we are just going to place them together, just kind of like this. Put these four together to make kind of like a little diamond, like that. And then we're just going to add on three of these little purple ones to the top side, like that right there and we're gonna need two of these. Now we'll take both of these pieces and place one on top of the other like that. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to add three more blue pieces like this to this part right here. Now we're gonna need four blues and two purples. And again, we're gonna kinda make that little diamond with the blue like that. And it's kind of like the part for the neck, except we only have two purples and they're just gonna go on each side of the top. 
And then we're going to get three more blues and then place them right along the bottom here. Kind of like we did with the other piece. Now we're going to take these two pieces and place them together. And I believe it's going to be something like this. Next what we're going to need is four blue bunchums kind of put into this pattern like the little diamond. And we're going to need to get five of these. So here are all five of them and I'm just going to stack them on top of each other. So that looks really cool. So now what we're going to do is we are going to add this piece on top of that neck part. Like that. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we are going to be making the face. So what we're going to need to do is get six bunchums. These two, we can have the holes facing out because those are going to be the nostrils. And then place the rest of these on, going the same direction. And we can keep that side closed so we know which way we're facing. So that's like his little nose. Alright, so I think this top piece right here, these four, are actually going to go on top of the head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this piece right here. Like that. And his little nose sticking out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take these ones and these ones I believe are going to go right here and this one will be like this. So then we can place on the eyes which go right here. That way you can see his face. Then what we're going to do is we are just going to place this right here on the front. Now what we're going to do is we are going to need six of these blue bunchums. And I have them grouped into three. And then I have three purple ones. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put three together like that. Then we're going to place some purple ones on top. And then we're going to do another layer of the blue right here. Now we are going to need one of purple and we're just going to place it right in the center. Then a blue and then another blue like that. And we're going to take the tail and place it right here. Now for the last step, what we're going to need to do is we are going to need to get our two bat wings. And then we are going to need two blue bunchums. And we're going to place a bat wing on a bunchum. And then another bat wing on a bunchum. And then we will place these on the sides like this and I'm not really sure where I want to put them it kind of shows them towards the front so we're just going to place them right here like that so now let's go ahead and try out our dragon so what we're going to do is we're going to turn him over we have our switch right here like that now you're going to want to kind of shake him a little bit so that it will activate his little wiggler inside of him there we go and it just kind of looks like he is just jiggling all around. And it usually just lasts about maybe 10 seconds or so before it cuts off. Let's see if we can just push him down again. So that is really cool. So that was our finished dragon. Alright you guys, so what did you think of the Bunchums Alive Motorized Action Pack? So I thought this set was really cool. We got to make two of the awesome things that you can make with this set. Of course, we had some wings, we had a mustache, we had a beak that we didn't even use. And even using just one design, we still have a lot of Bunchums left over if you want to try to make something else and keep one of your designs. 
So I think that this set was really awesome. I love the way the ball worked and how it vibrated and bounced our characters around. It was really cool. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and stay tuned for more Bunchums videos. Come back tomorrow for a new video, and if you liked the video you just saw, don't forget to check out our other videos. Find us on Facebook and other social media, and as always, thanks for watching.